Hey, what up? This your boy, Man Man Groundhog, and I'm here kicking it with your boy, Spaz TV. What up, man, man? Pleasure having you here, man. Welcome to Spaz TV. What's good, bro? So, uh, I want to go ahead and jump into these little questions since we got you here. You know, I noticed you hit 8K. Congrats on that. Congrats. I really appreciate that shit. That shit real big, bro. That shit big. You know, speaking on that, man, what are you bringing to the table this year, man? 2015. What kind of uh, projects you got? Man, as of as of right now, uh, uh, right now I'm working. Uh, I'm working back on my ghetto security uh, episode. Uh, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start this series back up. The reason it's taking so long because I want to record the full season rather than just recording an episode and waiting a couple of days or the week or so and record another one. So I want to get the whole thing out. That way I want to I want to put it on the schedule. You know, have a set day of the week that I, I bring it out. That way uh -huh. that I can, you know what I'm saying, attract a better fan base with it and make the views, you know what I'm saying, somewhat, you know, be the same rather than just be, you know, you get a lot on one video and then the next one you don't really get no views on it. Yeah. Put everything kind of like on the time schedule. All right. So, you know, what really inspired that series, though? Like, what inspired you to do that series? Man, in that series, the, the original idea was somewhat based on uh, the Friday after the next movie. Uh, I know everybody watch Friday, everybody watch next Friday, but you don't really hear a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, talk about Friday after next. I feel like that movie was, I ain't gonna say it was slept on, but it wasn't as much talked about as the other ones. And, you know, that was one of my favorite movies. Yeah. And it was basically based on, you know what I'm saying, the series was basically based on, if you ain't seen it, you know what I'm saying, two brothers, you know what I'm saying, from the hood, from the struggle. You know what I'm saying? Rather than sell dope or crack or weed or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with some niggas that got a, a job, which is different. Yeah. So that's what I want to base it on. I want to make it realistic because everybody ain't trapping, everybody ain't selling drugs, you know? There's niggas that really got jobs. So that's what I want to base that series off of. Yeah. So, you know, 8K, big milestone, you know what I mean, for a lot of people. Uh, you know, so what steps you take to get here, man? Like. Like and patience AK, and stuff like that. And that, that shit big. Like, starting, I ain't think I'd hit AK. Really, I ain't, to be honest, I really didn't even give a fuck about the shit. Just being all the way 100 with it, you know, when I first started. But then, when I found out you can get a check for this shit, I was all the way motivated. You feel me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that shit motivated the nigga like once the nigga forgot that first YouTube check I was like oh for real and you know what I'm saying the nigga just got motivated to keep going keep going putting out better content you know I ain't want I want it to be original I ain't want my shit to be like everybody else shit yeah and if you if, if you check my channel like I ain't dropped a, a GTA video in about a month but uh, yeah. it's because, you know what I'm saying, I hadn't been motivated to. Like, the money, you know what I'm saying, it's straight, don't get me wrong, but for the content and the shit that I was seeing on YouTube, like, everything was so repetitive. And there's people that I fuck with, but it wasn't, it wasn't nothing that was really motivating me to want to even continue. To be honest, I really, I had really got to the point that I was just like, fuck YouTube, I ain't doing this shit no more. But, <laughs> I got some shit coming. Like, that shit gonna change really change the game. Trust me. Like, a lot of people say that shit, but... Yeah, I got some shit that's gonna change the YouTube shit up for real. So, was there anybody out here you looked up to before you got into it, or what? Like, uh, what made you uh, want to do that, though? Like... Man, I can't... I ain't gonna even lie. Like, once I started YouTube, I met people that, that I fuck with here. But before I started it, I can't lie and say that I, I looked at YouTube and it was I looked up to such and such and such and such. Because I, I, I wasn't watching, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't checking for Grand Theft Auto videos when I got on YouTube. Like, like I was a big 2K fan. I, I played 2K. Like, what made me get into it? And Loke came to me. Like, man, he, 
the first video he showed me, he was like, man, check this MMB video out. And it was a, uh, I think it was, they was like a little crew video where they was fighting each other and shit. He was like, man, we can do this shit. You feel me? But that was like the first video I seen. Like, I, I didn't know k or Remy or, you know what I'm saying, or Kushner. I didn't know n nobody. So when I came into the YouTube shit, it was just, damn, I just want, I, I want my own, you know what I'm saying? It's my own shit. Like, I feel like everything was original to me because I ain't know nobody. I ain't. I didn't watch nobody's videos, so it wasn't nobody that I really just looked up to. Everything was just, you know, off the top. Yeah, I feel, I feel you. Man, we got this last question for the day, man. You know, you can say whatever you want to say afterwards, you know what I mean? You know, if you didn't have YouTube as a platform right now, man, what would you really be doing right now? Because people don't Purchase know that you know today. outside of this game and y'all do other stuff, you know what I mean? Man, a lot of a lot of motherfuckers don't know this shit. I probably need to do a Q and A for my channel. I got I got eight thousand people fucking with me. I feel like niggas don't really know me, man, as a person. But outside of the YouTube shit, and it really take up a lot of my time once the niggas start doing the shit. But outside of the YouTube shit, I'm a musician. Like I don't rap, I don't sing. I'm an actual musician. You know, I can play the keyboard, I can play the bass, I can play the drum. I can just about play anything. So I'm a, I'm a for real musician, man. So that's what I'll be doing. That's what I base most of my time upon before I start doing the YouTube shit. But I had, I still play. Like, like I get regular gigs and shit, but it ain't, it ain't like it used to be. I don't practice as much as I used to be because of the YouTube shit. You know, because it take up, take a lot of time to do the shit. Because I don't just record a video and just throw that bitch up. Like, I take my time and edit my shit and I try to pick my shit. That's what's taking so long with my new shit. <laughs> when y'all see that shit, <laughs> man, y'all gonna fuck with that shit. I'm telling you, that shit is gonna change the game. Like, it's gonna really change the game. Alright, man. Is there anybody you wanna shout out? You know, say anything. Man, you I don't go, man. Call no names, man. Shout out to everybody that fuck with me. Shout out to the 8,000 people that I got subscribed to my channel, man. <laughs> Salute to everybody. <laughs>